Ford Motor Company patented a stink tester for autonomous vehicles. This raises a lot of questions. Let's talk about it. Welcome everyone, it's Joe time. And I'll tell you there is no better time to have a hot cup of Joe than today. It has been so cold here in Wisconsin. It's about 20 degrees right now, the wind chill of about 15. It's been snowing the last few days. Now, not a lot. It's just these little pellets that look like styrofoam bouncing around. But nevertheless, there's snow in the air. It's supposed to be spring. All right, if you're new to the channel, I'm going to ask that you subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. This is a great story. It's a little funny, but it does raise some serious questions. Ford Patent outlines a system for choosing rideshare vehicles based on smell. Mmm. <laughs> I can tell you this coffee smells good. Now this comes from FordAuthority.com. So this is right from the horse's mouth. Ford is spending vast amounts of money on its autonomous vehicle program. The total spend predicted to be over $4 billion, B billion dollars. Ford and its executives have said in the past that the autonomous auto customer experience is critical to the success of an autonomous vehicle operation. I'm going to come back to this in a minute. I think way too many people are missing the future of autonomous vehicles, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Ford has filed a new patent that outlines a strange but welcome way that passengers can choose a rideshare vehicle, be it autonomous or driven by a human. The Ford patent outlines a way that ride-sharing vehicles can be sorted by odor <laughs> inside the car. Oh my goodness. What a car smells like can be a huge deal to some users. One example is a non-smoker who needs a vehicle that hasn't been smoked in. The patent is titled Transportation System Using Odor Preferences. And it was filed back in 2017. It was published earlier this month. But it just you know, raises a question, other than cigarettes, what other smells is it going to detect? Because I can tell you one thing, I have had some awful stinky people in my car. What about those rideshare drivers who want their vehicles to smell like a spa? Who's to say what's a good smell and what's a bad smell? You know, you might like, I don't know, lilies and roses or, um, you know, the, the desert breeze or whatever. And someone else may think that is the most god-awful thing they could imagine. It all comes back to my idea that your car should smell neutral. It should smell like nothing. And if you get a stinkometer in there, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how many options it's going to give. I don't know if I can put in there the smell that I approve of and disapprove of as opposed to somebody else. But let's go on. The patent outlines a system that includes a computer remote from a vehicle that is programmed to store the label of an odor associated with a user. Associated with a user. So that does tell me that I can feed in my own profile. Or is it what I smell like? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. The mind boggles. The system would instruct the vehicle to pick up the user and receive data from an environmental sensor in the car and output a message upon determining that the data indicated or indicates that a level of odor exceeds a threshold. That sounds like a complicated way of saying that the technology would be able to alert the user if the vehicle they are all ready to hail or they are ready to hail stinks too badly. Yeah, stink is relative, isn't it? I, I mean, stink is really relative. The patent also notes that it can be used in vehicles like taxis, rental cars, and vehicles provided as part of a transportation as a service system. The system could also receive information about the drivers, such as their name, and about the vehicle, including make, model, color, license plate number. So what they're doing now is they're trying to incorporate all the information that's already found on rideshare apps, and they're incorporating it into the Stinkometer. The system uh, could also provide Ratings based on feedback from prior customers. Ford says that a passenger could have an allergy. There you go. Or 
preferences about the environment that they travel in, and there are currently no mechanisms to convey interior environment information. Sounds as if the system could alert rideshare customers if a driver is known to be smelly. I have a couple of questions. Uh, number one, they did mention rental. This is big with me. I don't know how many of you rent vehicles, but I rent vehicles on a relatively regular basis. And what's a good smell? Something smells like coffee? I don't mind that. You know how nice that smells when you're going down the malls? Anyone remember what malls are? And you, you smell that, that Gloria Jean's, you know, coffee uh, coming out of the shop? Sometimes people say, I like the smell of pipe tobacco, right? Others cannot tolerate any type of tobacco. So that's going to be interesting. But here's what I was getting at with rental cars. I wonder... Is this only something that collects data and is going to provide it when you want to get information on the vehicle? Or is it going to spy on us? In other words, when I'm renting a vehicle and it is against most rental car policies to smoke in a vehicle. So is it going to spy on me? And is there going to be an alert going off? Ding, 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 ding. Somebody smoked in this vehicle and now I'll get charged a $250 cleanup fee or whatever it is. Why is this limited to vehicles? Why can't something like this? And here's where I think that Ford is missing the boat. Expand on this idea. What about hotel rooms? I think this would be fantastic to be able to know before you go into hotel rooms what odors, or if you want to look at it as aromas, one being pleasant, one not being so pleasant, exist in that environment, in that room. Once again, is it going to monitor me? That's the thing that that concerns me a little bit. Does it concern you? Would it bother you if you were being monitored in real time as a customer in a hotel or rideshare vehicle or any other environment you can think of that might be enclosed and limited? Would it bother you if you were being monitored In this day and age, um, I can see the benefits, I can see the drawbacks, but in today's world, we're having so many rights taken from us and we're not doing a thing about it. What about this? What about having someone actively monitor you in real time? It's already happening in many ways. Surveillance cameras, for example. What do you think? Is that a real concern? All right, so we talked about surveillance and spying on us. We talked about expanded uses, not only in rideshare, taxis, that kind of thing, but even hotel rooms. Here's the last thing I want to talk to, and that is autonomous vehicles. Every time I read a story about autonomous vehicles, it's talking about rideshare. How many of you would love to own an autonomous vehicle? Quite frankly, I think that would be a more practical use. Many of you know I take a lot of trips, and I have several trips that I take. The longest ones I routinely do are to Florida and back. But I also go to Texas and back a lot. And I'll tell you, it would be far less fatiguing once I get on the interstate if I could put that thing in autonomous mode and kick back and relax. Now, I still believe someone should be sitting in the driver's seat being wholly autonomous scares me. But if I could be there monitoring but not have to have that 100% focus that fatigues you when you're on the road, and quite frankly, probably leads to more accidents, I would love it. I think an autonomous vehicle to me would be far more beneficial as my privately owned vehicle than as a rideshare vehicle. All right. Although this one was kind of funny, I think it raised some very serious issues. I would love to hear your comments on this one down below. There's three big questions out there. Number one, could this patent be expanded to different uses? I think most patents do find a way to multiple uses. Maybe this would be a great idea for one of us to take an existing idea and apply it in a different way to make our millions. Number two, would you fear that this is being used to monitor and spy on us. Number three, I said three, but I just thought of a fourth one. Number three, are autonomous vehicles uh, being limited in their scope? 
Might the real application, a better application, be used for private ownership? There are far more private owners of vehicles than there are rideshare vehicles on the road. And I, I kind of think that might be a better use. And the fourth and last one, do you think it's a good idea? Would it be beneficial? Uh, I wonder if it would work the opposite way. I haven't raised this question, but it work, would it work the opposite way? If they can read our profile and see what our car smells like, can we read their profile and see what they smell like? <laughs> I don't know. I think that the, the applications are almost endless. It seems like a silly thing, but the more we discuss it, the more it seems like not a bad idea. So I'd love to hear your comments down below, everybody. Please like and share the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe by clicking my face in the corner. And don't forget to ring that bell icon. That way you'll know when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me, everyone. I'm Mark, and this is Mark's Travel Time.